Hey bro. Hey bro. So we're back again. Back again. Yep. We're gonna venture deeper into the Peruvian caves. Oh, oh, um, oh my goodness. So, uh, lock on's enemies. Ah, so this is the thing I was talking about last episode. Um, a core part of this game, I think, is to dodge at the right time. Mm -hmm. So you get an adrenaline, like a special headshot. Yeah. Let's try and do it now, shall we? What's from? Okay. Press R. -O. Oh, it means you had it going there, didn't you? I think so. Uh, when the rage enemy lunges and screen blurs, move to any direction of a shift to perform an adrenaline dodge. Keep your distance in order to execute a successful dodge. Good job. Oh man, this is a great way to start the start the episode. Oh man, it's beating my ass. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's just not fair. That was embarrassing. That's pretty bad. Well, good luck. So it seems you have to roll out. The, well, um, maybe you'll get the, the text pop up. It seems you have to roll out the way, and then in mid roll you have to sh shoot. So, but I'm not sure. So press R mouse, which is move. Done. Right, it must be move. Uh, so lock on to enemies. Yeah. I just give it. See, that's what I had trouble with. Oh wait. So he's charging us. So have to do dodge. It's only direction. You see. Yeah, well, get out of here, stupid bear. Well, he killed him, but he didn't do the thing it wanted you to do, so I consider that a fail. Well, in my game, she's still alive. Good point. And if I was just kill an enemy, always, I always walk around with guns. Yeah. I remember in the old Tomb Raider games, you could use like the, the light from the shots to guide mm. your way in dark areas. She has incredible strength. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> is, there, is, uh, is that a secret I saw at the bottom? When you're ready, Arthur. It seemed like I saw a shimmering... No. It was just bones. Um, oh, but what's, what's behind that little rock there, bro? I'll get down there, bro. If a bear hops out here, I'm going to shoot you. You're welcome. I mean, we, we both saw it. Oh, bones down here. One of us, uh, an animal. There should be a little animal down here, shouldn't there? All these well, bones. Is. Lara is a human being, and humans are animals. <sighs> you must be fun at parties. <laughs> I'm told I am. That's what they, that's what they say anyway. As I leave. W w yeah, where are you supposed to go from here? Were you, were you just supposed to slide down? No, you're supposed to yes. And die. Oh. Well, I, I think you're just supposed to slide down, bro. Because where else are you gonna go? You, and then you can't jump from one portal to the next. Then, and then, I'm gonna keep saying, and then to get the ah, hang on. There's a middle block. There, there you go. go. Yeah, like Lara Croft's games, you have to do what it wants you to do, or it won't let you move. Well, yeah. For example, then you have you have to stand on that middle block, or you are stuck. I do feel like there's something going on here. I can't just help what that is right now. So, do you think this game looks good for 2007? Actually, I think I... Ten years ago? Yeah. Oh. City of... This is not where the dinosaurs are. Bill Cabamba. No, I think the dinosaurs are pretty far away. Oh, actually, no, I'm pretty sure... This looks very There are dinosaurs good. in this area. That was a very good twist to put. I mean, it's a very good hook, isn't it? Yeah. But on a game. Dinosaurs. Hmm, these dinosaurs have fur. Stupid. Stupid fluffy dinos. <laughs> I'm barking and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Having is. paws. I mean, brutally honest, this is ringing bells for me. Well, I think this wasn't in the original game. This entire scene. Nope. Checkpoint. Okay, great. So we still don't know how to do the dodge, and that no. is essential. That is essential for. Oh my god. Oh well, it's your personal nemesis. So is he going to do his like, special charge? Okay, let's try it. Ah. Well, then you did it. Well, I dodged. I didn't I didn't get a special headshot, though. I think you're supposed to press Y. We, we, should, we probably should Google this at some point. How do you open? Okay, can't open that. Ah. Uh, you, uh, I'll bet you're swimming there at some point. Yeah, Lara Croft is the world of weird war physics, but... No, like, what? One of the big questions I've is why on earth would you build a well like that? Um, 
If you just got water falling out the sky, bro, why wouldn't you put a well there? No, 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 like, but why would you build a well? Uh, uh, no. Okay, so how do you dive? Okay, you press B to dive. Let's have a look around. Oh, I'm going to drown at some point. Where do you go from here? Where do you go? What? I'll go and go to the surface, go to the surface, get your air back. How do you go up? Oh, space, so it's A. Oof. I'm freaking out. Oh, okay. <sighs> Let's drive it again. Okay. So. Okay. How do you swim faster, do you reckon? I love feel this is a game where you can. I'm sure you can swim faster. Who would have told you? Service, service, service. Oh, what? Get up, you stupid bint. Oh, we have to do a lever because it's blocked off. Oh, it's too stressful. <laughs> Aha! I love the idea that you could do that. More than I'm patching up my... Oh, too uh, late. Oh, no. I can do it, I can do it. Lara, you stupid bend. Okay. Why is it mean to Lara? You're the one killing her. Shh. Listeners don't know that. No. Yeah, so why would you build a well? That is also serves as a secret tunnel for future explorers. In case you need it. Cool. Ah, and, and there's a pelt here. So, do you know people who live here? If there are, they are. They have a very bad wolf and bear policy. A wolf and bear policy. Wait, as in, that is to say, if they don't have a wolf and bear. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it, it seems a basic of a society to me that you should have policy on no wolves or bears, and this society clearly doesn't have that. Also, why would you need roofs in an underground society? That's a very good point. Whoa! What was that? It destroyed itself. That's all your fault. Are they going to come back? Who? I hope they come back. Please come back, Mister Plank. That was stupid. Maybe it's maybe to fall down. Maybe we're meant to fall down. Hmm. Ah, so you have to shoot that. What are those on the floor? These things. They're just like jars. Ah, uh, dinosaur eggs. They could be dinosaur eggs. No, they're not. just jars. So let's get this. Uh, e. Let's Why? What else in there? Ah, this is like freeform. Growing. Let's climb. Yeah, back in the original Lara Croft games, you'd have a little grid, wouldn't you? Yeah. Obviously, it's better to have a freeform. Oh, skulls on spikes. Very map and blade. Ooh, what we got there? What's this? Oh, mmm. I wonder if you get a shotgun in this level. Oh, is that an artifact? Oh, it's a key. Oh, I'm finding loads of stuff here. Oh, checkpoint. Take it, bro. Now I'm nervous. From what I understand, for only two dinosaurs, is a Velociraptor and a T Rex. Oh, I got nervous then for the. Okay, bro, get ready for dinosaurs. I think they come out now. Or maybe, maybe they don't. I'll, I'll let you keep playing, bro. That checkpoint's a bit. Can a bit too soon, obviously. That's a massive jump. She jumps much higher when she's got her guns out. Look. <laughs> Is that what I think it means? There you go. And then... Yeah. Uh, you're heading back where you came, bro. Am I? Yep. You sure? Yep. Yes, I This am. is so embarrassing. No, we can do some acrobatics as we go. What do you think of Lara Croft films? I actually didn't mind the first one. It was oh. basic action films, weren't they? Yeah, and the second one's a bit... You have a key. Hmm. Maybe you can find a. Maybe to your right, there's a keyhole, a comically large keyhole, <laughs> the size of her forearm. <laughs> it's almost as if it's designed not for the key, but to make it easier for you to see. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> someone call that rapper whose name I can't remember because someone let the dogs out. Another oh. one. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, you know what What's said? a Latin name for wolf? Is it Canis Ferris? It's Lupus. Lupus. No, Lupa. Which is why Professor Lupin... Lupus? More like Poopus. 
Wow. Yeah, <laughs> what can I say? I mm. definitely feel like something back here. This feels like it's a boss fight. I don't think there is. That's probably just a combat area. But yeah, it feels like there should have been an item. Never mind, we left time. Come on, a gymnastic your way to the finish line. Imagine if Olympic races ended this way. Checkpoint. Okay, thanks, bro. You had a pretty boring. Oh, cool. Well, I don't know, yeah, you, you had some action. Yeah, I'm just going to keep playing for that checkpoint. There are an awful lot of checkpoints in this bit. It's very forgiving. I guess we used to Dark Souls where it's like, nothing for you. <laughs> I'm sure there's a sprint button, you know. Definitely. Was that Underworld? I think I've Underworld as well. Yeah, I think I went crazy and got for Tomb Raiders in a, in a bundle once. What? What I find funny. Ah, that... was that because I, I didn't press it? I didn't. Uh, Did I do like a bad grab perhaps? Yeah. What I find funny about Lara Croft is. Um... The her jump distance changes on the jump you need to do. Yeah. Like, so normally it's alright because she's just jumping shorter than the distance she normally would. But in this case, it's crazy. Like, the jump she pulls off here is ridiculous. Like, look how far that is. And she's just like, yeah, no problem, mate. Ah, so when you see the little orange triangle at the bottom right. What? <sighs> is it someone should have done a handstand. Should, I should have done a handstand, yeah. What's going on there, then? I suppose we'll never know. Are you reading anything right now, bro? No, I'm not, but I feel like I should be. Yeah, I should be reading um, Sharp's Eagle. Nope, I've got a couple of history books I need reading. Which I got for my birthday. Oh, see, so you should grab that again. Hmm? Okay, let's wait until she's all the way up. Okay. Again, I took the complete lack of a handstand. I'm not gonna play by your rules. Why are bats an enemy? They're kicking your ass! I mean, oh man, they do a lot of damage. I'll give you a med kit. Nice, got a bit of health. Okay. Mmm. I was gonna do a sprinting jump, but then I realised there's no such thing. Yeah, do a skid jump. Go on, crash. Oof. See, I feel like I'm missing out on some stuff. Do you think there's anything in the water? See, I used to think there would have been, but I'm pretty sure that water's just there to make sure you don't die after this. If you miss, if you mess up that jump. I feel like there's got to be something in that water. Check if you want. Ah, cool. Little animation. Do what Rayman 3D used to do. Okay, let's have a look. Do you remember that? Sorry, listeners, this might be a bit boring. Rayman 3D. When his pause animation was to um, take out his bone. Ah, yeah. I think it changed. Back. I think he had quite a few. So, there's nothing under there. I'm having a good go. Yeah. I'm going to give it to you because I've had a while. Bill was just embarrassing himself. I was embarrassing myself. She had a very strange swimming style, didn't she? Yeah. I remember in Tomb Raider 2, especially, that was very strange. Because she used to swim with her head above the water. Yeah. And she used to... I'm going to try and describe this with my words. I remember her legs never moved. And she was kind of doing like a yoga position. Yeah. So like... Her knees and feet were touching the floor. And her thighs were kind of supporting her waist. Mm -hmm. And she would kind of propel herself forward using her arms. Yeah. And that's the only part of her which moved. It was a very strange position. Well, I mean, like, oh no, too many. Hang on. That was awful. Embarrassing. We did have a checkpoint. Yeah, it's a checkpoint. Or well, maybe it took a while to load it. So, I'm going to go right now. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna look for something before I do anything else. So, what do you aim on getting out of these little podcasts, bro? Honestly, I'm just in it to 
play games with my brother have fun yeah anybody else enjoys it that's good yeah me too yeah I mean yeah I'm not I'm not too first I mean I'm not in it or a fame or the seven figure check some YouTube's got been way too much do you reckon yeah like who we got well pretty much at the moment I would say John Tron Don Tron gets paid too much well actually I don't know how much he gets paid but he doesn't churn up put out any content well if he doesn't put out any content uh, any content surely he doesn't get paid no because he has a massive backlog doesn't he ok I'd assume he gets paid he's got a full production staff from what I've heard yeah I wouldn't be surprised so YouTube's to... weird because it used to be for the um, for kind of nobodies for the amateurs yeah but that... then it, you know it evolved into yeah it sort of happened quite quietly didn't it there was no magic moment yeah People just started making money, and I guess that drew more people into it. And back then, all it took was one hit video, wasn't it? Yeah. Or well, like one hit small series. But like the one I'm thinking of is the YouTuber KSI. Him, yeah, I know him. Uh, explain to the listeners what he does, in case they don't know. He's he's a British YouTuber. Again, does game videos. I always know him for FIFA, but he does other stuff. Hmm. Yeah, he mainly gaming, right? Yeah, he's got something charmed him. I quite find his FIFA videos. I, I I love how normal he is. Like how he's, he's just proper British, I think. Yeah. Like I can imagine sitting with him on the back of a school bus. Yeah. He has a very like a boyish charm, I think. But he's his first famous video of my remember was his um, best player in FIFA, in which he comically he just comically reviewed players who were mediocre, with a massively overhyped nature. So the most famous one is um, best Hesk. Emil Heskey, best player in FIFA. Have you ever seen that video? Ah, I remember you talking about it like crazy. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very funny video. It still holds up. Yeah. But this, yeah, but our, he's made a. He basically. That kick started him to a massive thing. Now, I think he's Britain's second biggest YouTuber now. Is he really? Yeah, after Zoella. Well, they're not quite YouTuber, there are whole entire spheres you just have no idea exist. Yeah, I mean, well, that's. I like that. No, it's good. It's very good. Very diverse. Yeah, you've got the makeup things. It's crazy, yeah. Like, as you say, like, entire genres just yeah. miss you by. Then you've got the Spanish language videos, that if you're not Spanish or Spanishly speaking. They all seem, like, more obnoxious when they're English-speaking counterparts. Because I don't know why. They have... and then you've got... Maybe it's because I don't understand totally what they're saying. Like, do, you know, do you know what the most watched non-music video, video on YouTube is? No. It's, I believe, it's essentially one of the highest, of, uh, I think it's the highest non-music video, is a Russian cartoon called, I think it's Sasha the Bear. Okay. Is, a, is that a series? Is that is that because it's part of a series, or is that just for one-off video? No, it's related to a series, but the video itself is a standalone thing. Okay. But no, it's got over a billion views. It's absolutely massive, but it's entirely in Russian, with no, as far as I'm aware, no captions. Yeah. So yeah, YouTube is a big wide place. You can find anything you want. You can find two brothers of randomly making gaming podcasts. Yeah. Other this video should get about a million likes. But. I mean, I was going to say something. I was going to say something really smart then. Yeah, I I, I heard that the YouTube's the second biggest search engine but the behind part, Google. Who are on YouTube? Yeah. So. What I do like though, the development in the past few years of Patreon. You, you do or you don't? I don't do. do I think it's you. A... you like Patreon? Yeah. Why? I, I really feel that it's a more direct way of rewarding people. Like, it introduces a proper market into YouTube. Okay. Which I, I would very much like. Do you think crowdfunding is, is a reliable way to grow? Well, it really is. The pen, like, if you get... Oh, I'm seeing a, a something down there, bro. Mm, yeah, but there's also good, totally a bear down there. Like, I'm just calling it now. Well, you're going to get that. Oh, right, what's this bro. rate? So, that's... Yeah, it's basically just you can jump off slopes. I'd move a little bit to the right. Oh yeah. Don't be scared. Should I drop down and get it? Yeah, nothing's gonna eat you. <laughs> oh, there's a little thing there as well. <laughs> You're running loops around him, loop lupus around him. Oh, when the little triangle pops up, it's actually just when you can use the wide button. I suppose, yeah. So if that's caution though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Caution, health kit. What's going on with this? Oh, it's a box to stand on. 
That actually makes quite a lot of sense. But where to put it? Oh, so you can get back up. It's a bit weird, isn't it, using the box? Because it kind of glides. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I'm controlling the box or Lara. That's a very good point. What's inside the box? Is it just a mummified corpse? Yeah. What is he doing in there? She was on boom now. Is that a baby? We were like a... No. If he's a baby, he's got a massive head. I mean... I should have a little poke around, see if there's anything. Nope, doesn't seem like there's anything. No, but... Yeah, you, you always want to check. We missed out on two yeah, artifacts yeah, in a yeah. reddick last time. Oh, that's how you get back up. That's what you need a box for. But yeah, so you, I really like the idea of Patreon because some YouTube channels just will never... People will be willing to pay for it, mm. but they'll never be able to get the, the core mass to just get as many views. Yeah, niche. Yeah, so for example, I'm thinking of the Great War YouTube channel. A very high Well, content. they seem to have... That's true, though. It is very specific. Yeah, and it's but it's also really high quality. But I'm confused as to how much money they really need because if they if they can do it for a year without any funding, they were being funded by someone. Oh, okay. I can't remember who it was, but they were talking. That's why they set it up because they they need to earn a profit. They're they're the only YouTube channel I've actually considered giving money to at this point. I like Alt Shift X, the true. Game of Thrones analysis yeah. channel. But he, I guess he earns enough to do it full time. Then you got pick right. I mean, he he must have similar views to get Great War. I mean, yeah, I imagine he might have more, but he doesn't do as many videos. Oh, hang on. Whenever I see light, because like it's a very Indiana Jones trope, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so you've got like poison darts. What is regular darts? I guess. But what? Well. Oh yeah. Yeah, off to the left. I'm meant to drop down here. Yeah, have a little drop down. Ah, so this is one get the cup. This place, there's something down here. This quite a be. Oh, maybe not. We're totally safe. Do you remember those weird Lara Croft Lucasade adverts? Vaguely, yes, very vaguely. But I do. Lara yeah. Croft was a was a phenomenon. Yeah, she was an icon. She was like, she was get because it's really rare for a video game character to. I think it's only happened once with Lara Croft. What? For a video game character to really infiltrate regular regular media. No, Mario's done it. True, but it's very like so. Two. We could, I can think of two examples. I mean, it depends on what you mean by you know. Got Mar- I'm sure there are others. Crash Bandicoot, death. he did for a bit. I remember Crash Bandicoot doing it for a little bit. I don't remember Crash Bandicoot having adverts. No, I remember it. It was years ago. It was past his prime. Crash Bandicoot doing adverts? He was in... It might have actually... Sorry, it might have just been adverts for a game. <laughs> what, a Crash Bandicoot game, perhaps? Yeah. But I remember him being in adverts. Oh, there we okay, go. Okay, oof. That took, a that took a long time. And did he get any relics or anything? Well, there weren't any relics anyway. No, oh, very true. Anyway... So, oh, I reckon that's us done for today, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, no more after this episode, at least. Yeah. Okay, so... Peru, city of Vilacamba. Vilaca- Vilacamba. Vil- yeah. Vil- Vilacamba. We might have to split this episode in two. I don't know. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> True, but Steve... He's I'm the one doing the editing. Yeah, he's the lack of brains behind the screen. I'm the talent. Yeah. I'm the guy everyone comes to see. <laughs> I'm the guy who demands blue M and M's in his bowl. <laughs> what are these red <laughs> skittles doing in my bowl? <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, well, that's like a long time. A long time. I don't know if we should think about putting more of a a structure to these things. Well, maybe, maybe yeah. Or did it, just rambling? Is that good? Who knows? I might try and. Be prepared with some news stories or something next time. Yeah, so we can talk about some vague questions to talk about. Yeah. We, we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write questions, but pretend they came from they came from viewers. My, my mum, no, not my mum. <laughs> but why are you so handsome? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, we weren't too infuriating with our bad playthrough. Yeah. Please tell us where the artifacts are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're have no they're really hard to find. Is it one of those things where you have to play through it a second time? That's not, can't be right. Yeah. It's, just, it's an odd star game, but it's actually very well hidden, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't care whether or not you're 100%. It Ruthless. cares about the challenge. 
Maybe if they're all still hidden up for Peruvian man's bum. I mean, it would surprise me. He looks like a bit of a dodgy type, doesn't he? Yeah, he really does. Anyway. All right. Well, thanks for watching, listeners. Yeah. Bye. Bye.